Sergei Moros from the WWF in, in EU Policy Office in Brussels. We're here at the European Water Association event today and you've given a very interesting presentation earlier on that relates to public participation as it relates to water. Would you explain a, a bit of the background of, about that? Yes. Water Framework Directive uh, has introduced a unique exercise where, by, by, by where the, uh, it introduced a public participation mechanism across Europe, both for interested parties and citizens to have their say how their water is managed. Water is extremely important to be left to engineers and economists alone. We are all living at a water edge. Uh, we all use water in our daily life whether for cleaning purposes or we are also using a lot of water in the products that we use that have been produced um, one cup of coffee for example use about 140 liters of water so it's important where that water is also coming from and what impact it had in a particular place um, so it is extremely important that citizens do have their say in how their water is managed and which particular objectives by which means are being achieved and water framework directive provides for that um, um, in, um, and in Europe has gone through a unique, um, extensive consultation exercise that nothing of its kind has been seen before. And we really see a lot that, uh, that it makes a lot of difference where people provide their local knowledge about the very local situation where they're in, where people then accept the measures that are being proposed, where people understand why their water bills are being increased and what's being done with the money. So it's absolutely important that uh, we have our say how water is managed and Water Framework Directive provides that opportunity and it needs to be used. So this is partly communication about the why things like bills are going up, why there are shortages in parts of the world, those kind of the questions. Yeah. It does have a communication aspect to it and it's absolutely crucial uh, that this communication channels are used properly and the, the messages are being adjusted to the, uh, to the, to the citizens level uh, because the very technical river basin management plans that consist of hundreds of pages of very very technical language are not going to be very very helpful so the communication methods and the communication channels need to be chosen appropriately if the citizens are to be properly involved and we have seen a number of examples where it's been done very successfully where we had a water bus traveling from one village to another where we had evening meetings organized for local communities where people could, were explained about the problems and were looking for solutions together so communication is important but another aspect I would like to highlight is also the fact that people were providing inputs people were providing their knowledge people were deciding together with decision makers with the affected stakeholders on which particular objectives to which level to which extent how uh, need to be achieved that people can continue enjoying clean rivers full of fish full of bird life uh, providing recreational activities for canoeing or kayaking and also providing all those extremely important goods and services uh, that a functioning ecosystems provide us with whether it's bathing water whether it's food whether it's those regular regulatory services where healthy ecosystems help us uh, to mitigate floods for example and droughts. Mm. So I mean from there if you're involving genuinely the, the general public you must have some results as to whether people actually care about the water they get. So have you have you got anything like that? People do care about water. The recent Eurobarometer that European Commission run uh, this year showed very clearly that water came on top of people's concerns both in terms of water quality and quantity. It was as high as climate change. Two-thirds of European citizens were concerned with the situation and they were also prepared to take action at home uh, and have already done so more than 80% of them have done have taken steps uh, to either save water or prevent uh, pollution for example so people do care about water they are prepared uh, they want to be involved in decisions about water and what we clearly saw uh, from the public participation processes uh, a lot of people provided comments a lot of local communities did come to the meetings a lot of them provided their knowledge provided their expertise and were very much involved and in many cases changed the uh, initial ideas of river basin management plans and actions that the authorities were planning. They made them better. Mm.